गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग रिविजन ऑफ सम टॉपिक इन चैप्टर नंबर वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिस्कस इंटरवल सो टोटल फोर टाइप ऑफ इंटरवल प्रेजेंट इन अवर सिलेबस फर्स्ट इंटरवल ओपन इंटरवल सो इन ओपन इंटरवल हियर वी कैन रिटर्न ओपन इंटरवल ए एंड बी वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ओपन इंटरवल ओपन इंटरवल दैट मीन्स ऑल दिस वेल बिटवीन ए एंड बी बट वी कैन नॉट इंक्लूड ए वी कैन नॉट इंक्लूड बी सो इन सिम्बॉलिकली वी कैन रिटर्न ओपन इंटरवल ए कॉमा बी इज इक्वल टू set of x from x belongs to r comma a less than x less than b right uh, all this number between a and b but we cannot include a we cannot include b now second interval close the interval so in close interval uh here we can apply big bracket a and b now what is the meaning of this interval so close interval a a and b that means all this value between a and b also we can include a also include b so in symbolically return close interval a comma b is equal to set of x from x belongs to r comma a less than equal to x less than equal to b set over now third interval open close interval so in open close interval here uh, first position is open position so return open form and after close position is present so return here close form so open close a comma b that means uh, all this value between a and b but we can not include a and include here b because here b present in close form so we can uh, here include b and not include the value of a uh, so in symbolically return open close a comma b uh, is equal to set of x from x belongs to r here a here small bracket is present open interval is present so here return strictly less than x here close form is present so here return less than equality form close less than equal to b set over and fourth one uh, close the open interval so in close open interval first position close is written so here written close interval a open interval b in sim uh, what is the meaning of this interval so all this value between a and b and uh, also include a but we cannot include the value of b so close interval a open interval b is equal to set of x from x belongs to r comma here uh, less than equal uh, a close interval form is present so here return less than equality a less than equal to x and here small bracket is present so here return strictly less than b set over okay now 
related to this topic uh, discuss two three example so first example set of x from x belongs to r minus 4 less than x less than equal to 6 so write down uh, this uh, set builder form into interval form so here strictly less than form is present and here less than equality is form is present so using by third result open close interval form so our answer is only just write down the interval form so here we can return open minus 4 close interval 6 second one set of x from x belongs to r 0 less than equal to x less than 7 set over so again here less than equal to form is present and here strictly less than form is present so our answer is close interval 0 to open interval 7 now uh, suppose interval form is present and write down in set builder form so how can be written so suppose here open interval minus 3 comma 0 is present and write down in interval form so how can be written so here open interval form is present so first we can return x from x belongs to r now here open interval form is present so return strictly less than so minus 3 less than x less than 0 set over second one open close 6 comma 12 so again how can be written here so set of x from x belongs to r comma 6 less than x less than equal to because here uh, close interval form is present so that's why here written equality so 12 set over Okay. Now, our next topic is subset. So, what is the meaning of subset? So, subset that means suppose two set C is present, uh, set A and set B, two sets is present. Okay. Now, if every element of set A must be present in set B is called the a subset of b uh, so we can take one example suppose a is equal to set of 1 2 and 3 b is equal to set of 1 2 3 4 comma 5 now uh, here every element of set a must be present in set b so that's why here we can return a subset of b but uh, on we can take one another example suppose a is equal to set of 1 comma 3 and b is equal to set of 1 2 4 5 6 so uh, in this case a is equal to two element is present one and three and b is equal to uh, five element is present now here one is present in set b but three not present in this set and our definition is every element of set a must be present in set b so here three is not present in set b so in this situation we can say that a not subset of b now after uh, suppose a is equal to set of 1 2 3 4 set of 5 comma 6 set over 7 now in case of here 1 single element is present and one is present in this set 
so we can say that one belongs to a now in case of 5 comma 6 so here 5 comma 6 we can consider also in element form in this pair we can consider one single element so that's why again here we can return uh, belongs to a now set of 7 means 7 also we can return belongs to a but uh, this element written in like this set so we can return subset of a right here single element and relation is a so written here belongs to a but same element written in set form so we can return here subset so set of 1 subset of a set of 5 comma 6 set over also subset of a set of 7 is also subset of a ok now uh, null set uh, another another word of this set is called empty set null set or empty set that means no any element present in this set so we can say that it is called the empty set now remember null set is a subset of every set now after our next topic is union so what is the meaning of union definition of union union of sets so what is the definition of union uh, so we can consider two sets let a and b be any two sets uh, the union of a and b is the set of all those elements which are either in a or b or in both a and b so it uh, it is called the union of a and b and it is denoted by a union b that means every element of set a as well as every element of set b is called the union of a and b so now a union b is denoted by set of x from x belongs to a or x belongs to b set over now we can take one example suppose a is equal to set of 1 2 3 and 4 and b is equal to set of 3 4 5 and 6 now our question is find out a union b now a union b that means all the element of set a as well as all the element of set b so here we can return 1 2 3 comma 4 now here 3 and 4 uh, present here so we cannot return again this element so 5 comma 6 so a union b is equal to we get answer set of 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now after our next topic is intersection of the set intersection of the set that means common element in this set intersection of sets so let once again we can consider two set a and b uh, b any two set the intersection of a and b is the set of all those elements which belong to both a and b that means common element in both the set is called the intersection of uh, set so intersection is denoted by a intersection b and here we can return set of x from x belongs to a and x belongs to b now take one example suppose a is equal to set of 1 2 3 4 four element present in set a and b 
is equal to set of 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 now find out a intersection b so a intersection b that means common element in both these sets say 3 and 4 so here we can return set of 3 comma 4 uh, now next topic disjoint set disjoint set that means once again we can consider two sets a and b and if they have no common element in both these sets so we can say that this set is called the disjoint of the set uh, suppose a is equal to set of 1 2 and 3 and b is equal to set of 5 7 and 8 now find out intersection of this term so here no any element intersection that means common element so no any common element present in both the set so in this situation we can return a intersection b is equal to null set or empty set so disjoint set that means uh, two set is uh, present a and b and no any common element present in this set is called the disjoint of the set now next one difference of a set difference of set that means again we can consider two element a and b b any two element of set the difference a minus b is the set of all those element of a which do not belong to b uh, so in different set uh, in symbolically written a difference b is equal to set of x from x belongs to a and x not belongs to b set over uh, take example suppose a is equal to set of 1 2 3 and 4 b is equal to set of 3 4 5 6 now find out a difference b so first of all decide which element common in both the set so here 3 and 4 common in both the set now here first position is set a so that's why here written set of 1 comma 2 so our answer is a difference b is equal to set of 1 comma 2 so different set that means a difference b is equal to set of x from x belongs to a and x not belongs to b now related to this question discuss one example Suppose A is equal to 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. B is equal to set of 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. C is equal to set of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And D is equal to set of 5, comma 10, comma 15, comma 20. Our question is first find out A union. B. A union B that means all the element of set A as well as all the element of set B. So here A in place of written 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 
union set of b in place of 4 8 12 16 20 so is equal to a union b that means here written 3 4 6 8 9 12 15 16 18 20 20 Now, uh, second question, find out A intersection D. So, once again, here A in place of written element 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 intersection set of d in place of 5 comma 10 comma 15 comma 20 so is equal to intersection that means common element in both these set so a common element is 15 so set of 15 third one now after find out a okay chalo b difference d So B difference D that means B in place of written here 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 uh, difference D in place of written 5, uh, 10, 15, 20 set over. Now difference that means common element in both the set. So uh, here which element common 20 common in both the set so our answer is uh, remaining element of set B so 4 8 6 uh, 12 16 so B difference uh, D is equal to we get 4 8 12 16 now uh, discuss one other example If x is equal to set of a comma b comma c comma d and y is equal to set of f comma b comma d comma g. Now our first question find out x difference y. So x difference y that means here first position is x is present so here written a comma b comma c comma d difference y in place of f comma b comma d comma g now which element common in this set so b and d common in this set so our answer is a comma c second one y difference x so here y in place of written f comma b comma d comma g difference x in place of a comma b comma c comma d now here which element common in this set so b and d common in this set so remaining element of set y say f and g so here written f comma g answer now third question find out x intersection y so x intersection y so first written here a comma b comma c comma d intersection y in place of written f comma b comma d comma g now which element common in both this set so here b and d common in both the set so answer set of b comma d answer okay now fourth one find out x union y so here once again written a comma b comma c comma d union 
y in place of f comma b comma d comma g union that means all the element of x or and all the element of y so here written a comma b comma c comma d after remaining element of set y say f comma g so answer a b c d comma f comma g